I am Anil Kumar and here is a brief introduction to complex numbers in rectangular form. We will understand what are complex numbers, what is pure imaginary number, when the two complex numbers are equal and what do we understand by conjugate of a complex number. So the complex numbers in general are written in the form of a plus b i we are both a and b are real numbers we are both a and b belongs to set of real numbers and i is imaginary part i basically is equal to square root of minus one right so that is a basic complex number now in this form it is called a rectangular form there are other forms of complex numbers also which we are not considering now those could be written as a polar form or the second one is exponential form right so exponential and polar these are other forms in which we can represent complex numbers we'll talk about them in a separate video right now let's talk about what is pure imaginary number so if a complex number is a plus b i and if let us say a equals to zero right in that case the complex number which is normally written as z right or some other lowercase alphabet z in that case will be equals to the term b i now in this case you will find that the complex number only has the imaginary part so in this form it has both a pure real part without imaginary i the other one is imaginary part if a is zero then we say it's a pure imaginary number right z equals to b i now the second thing which we are going to understand is when are two complex numbers equal if we have complex number as uh, let us say a plus b i and if it is equal to another complex number let us say x plus y i in that case the real part should be equal to the real part and the coefficient of the imaginary part i mean the imaginary part should be equal to the imaginary part so in this case uh, a should be equal to x and b should be equal to y for the two complex numbers to be equal correct and the last thing which we have here is conjugate of a complex number let me use another ink conjugate of a complex number is uh, let us say if i have a complex number which is a plus b i in that case conjugate which we also write with a bar on the top will be a minus b i so what we do here is reverse this sign we just reverse the sign to get the conjugate so that is the conjugate of a number okay so now let us have few examples to practice so you have to identify from the following which ones are pure imaginary numbers let's say we have minus 2 plus 3i that is a complex number right and let's say a com number is 5i and we have just i so out of these we know that these two are pure imaginary numbers okay let me write numbers with this and this one is a general complex number right that is how you can identify which ones are pure imaginary numbers and which are complex numbers so complex number is a part which has both real and the pure imaginary part right now whenever you want to write conjugate of these numbers how do we write conjugate of these numbers let us see if i have to write conjugate let's say this is z let's say this number is u and this is v in that case to write the conjugate of these numbers what should we do so conjugate of z will be equals to this minus 2 it remains only this sign changes that is to say 
the number becomes minus 3i. So the conjugate of a number, the sign of the imaginary part changes to form the conjugate, right? So let's have a few more exercise questions here for you to do. Let's say u equals to 3 minus 2i. In that case, what is the conjugate of this complex number? It has to be 3 plus 2i. Is that okay? So that is how you find conjugate of a number, right? Let us take few examples to figure out whether the complex numbers are equal or not, right? Let us say we have 3x plus 4i, let's say 4yi equals to 2 minus 3i, right? So if I have this kind of a equation, we are saying these two are complex numbers find the value of x and y. Okay, how do we do this? Now, if these two are complex numbers and they are equal, in that case, the real part should be equal to the real part, the complex part should be equal to the complex part. Therefore, 3x should be equal to 2 and 4y should be equal to 3 with a negative sign, right? So, solving them, we can find the value of x and y. So x has to be equals to 2 over 3 and y should be equal to minus 3 over 4. Then these two complex numbers are equal. You get the point, right? So that is how you can actually find the values of x and y by equating two complex numbers. So whenever the two complex numbers are equal, their real parts will be same and their complex coefficients will also be same, right? So the imaginary part will also be same. So by equating them, you can always find uh, the values of x and y, okay? Now here is a test question for you. Let us say we have x minus 2y minus 3x plus 4y equals to, let's say, 4 minus 2y, right? Now in this equation, we have involved equation with complex numbers. Now this has to be equal only if the coefficients of x and y, there should be i here. Let me write i here. So that is the imaginary part. Now here imaginary part is minus 2. The real part is x minus 2y. Real part on the other equation is 4. So for this equation to be true, we can write this as combination of two equations. So first one could be Comparing the real part. So x minus 2y is equal to 4. That's the first equation. The second will be both are negative. So I'm writing 3x plus 4 equals to 2. So we get these two equations. We have to solve for x and y and find their value to make these equations same. So it's kind of solving simultaneous equations, right? So let this be an exercise for you on finding the values of unknown to make two complex equations equal. So I'll leave this question for you. So solve these two equations and find the value of this is y. Okay, this is, let me write this as y properly. This is not 4, this is y. Okay, so if this is y, find the value of this particular equation. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.